Can a lick from a dog threaten your life? This is a question that comes from a bizarre story out of Wisconsin. It's one of the most talked about in the country right now. A man got a terrible blood infection. Doctors amputated his hands and legs to save his life. The original story from the Fox station in Milwaukee says the infection was caused by a dog licking him. We posted that story to our Facebook page and one of the most common responses was disbelief. Donna Brewer Heinzelman said, that's bull. I have had dogs my whole life and they've licked me and I've never gotten a disease or infection. He got an infection, but it wasn't from dog saliva. We hear you, Donna. A lot of people here were skeptical too. So let's verify, can a dog's lick potentially kill you? We didn't have to go far to talk to the world's leading scientists. The CDC is in our backyard. We tracked down Dr. Casey Barton Baravesh, a veterinary epidemiologist with a master's of science in veterinary parasitology. We're talking about a bacteria called capnocytophagia. To recap, the original story claimed Greg Mantefel suffered a rare blood infection. His doctors say it happened when harmful bacteria from a dog's saliva seeped into his bloodstream. That caused sepsis or blood poisoning. Total bull? We asked Dr. Beverish. The important thing to know about this bacteria is it's very common in the mouth of dogs and cats, but the animals themselves don't actually get sick from it. But in rare cases, it can spread to people through bites, through scratches, or through close contact with dogs and cats. Let's turn to one more source. In 2016, the Journal of Hand Surgery wrote that there had been 484 cases of sepsis from a dog or cat saliva since 1961. They also found that of the patients who went into septic shock, 60% of them died. So while extremely rare, it is verified a dog's lick can kill you. We wanted to continue the conversation with 11 Alive medical correspondent, Dr. Sujatha Reddy. CDC saying that this bacteria can be fairly common in a dog or cat. What's not common is that very dangerous sepsis in a person. Yeah, and what happened to this poor man really needs to be chalked up to just very bad luck. There are hundreds of bacteria in the mouths of cats and dogs, and as our viewer said, most times people are being licked or kissed by their animal and nothing happens. But rarely, if one of these gets into your eyes or your nose and you happen to be one of the people that's susceptible to this bacteria, we have seen 400 cases since 1961. This is not unheard of, but luckily it is rare. Not unheard of. Is it so rare that you wouldn't really think too much about warning someone against a, a kiss on the face? You or? know, we still recommend if you read all the literature that when you touch a pet or a pet licks you, you really should wash up anti, you know, hand sanitizer or something because some of that bacteria could be harmful. We know where dogs and cats go. They pick up dead animals. They eat feces. They do things that, you know, they really, we wouldn't maybe not mm. want to admit they do. They do. They pick up mm. bacteria and germs. So after contact, even with your beloved mm -hmm. house dog, you should still wash your hands. They do all those things and we love them anyway. And of course we Absolute. love them. Absolutely.